Hey family, how y'all doing? This is Jazz and just wanted to say hey and check in with y'all and see what y'all been up to and let y'all know what I've been up to. So after the semester, I went to Atlanta and had like a fabulous week down there. Carnival season, so I definitely was winding up in Carnival. So everybody that was in Atlanta, y'all probably um, partook in the Jazz Festival. They had Carnival. They also had the Malcolm X um, Malcolm X picnic slash Malcolm X. I don't know. It was something Malcolm X Day. Um, it wasn't Malcolm X Day, but it was like a Malcolm X theme. Um, something at the park, at the West End Park. But anyway, so yeah, I had a great time. And my curls lasted all the way up to the point I went to Atlanta. So my curls lasted for a total of a, about three and a half weeks. And when I got to Atlanta, I went ahead and washed them out. And as you can see, I haven't twisted. I'm still going to see how long I can go on this freeform um, thing without retwisting my hair. I can easily say that I do feel the urge to retwist. It's not that I have to. It's not that I want to retwist my hair. I actually like my hair better this way. I just feel the urge to retwist. I don't know why. And for some reason, my hair looks long this month. Like, I'm going to show y'all, like, the back. It just seems pretty long. Like, it's been, it's been getting there. So, here we go. Here's the back. And the side. See, my hair is still just thick, thick, thick. See, these right here, these scraggly ones right here be effing me up because I always feel like something is crawling right here because nothing was ever there. So a couple of times I found myself snatching it and pulling the shit out of my head. But <laughs> I'm getting used to it now. Now I know that my hair definitely is still creeping down my back. Well, it's not down my back, but past my shoulders. But it's definitely down my back closer getting to my bra strap and definitely inching closer towards um, getting longer in the front. So my prediction for next year, I believe, is either going to get to that point or surpass it. My hair is just growing way too fast. It's on crack right now. But anyway, um, I also discovered two soaps. Um, there's a guy that um, makes his own soap out here. And he made like a lemongrass based soap and also a peppermint based soap. And I use those soaps to wash my hair. And they are fabulous. I actually like you and, and the unique thing about them, they're bars. I've never used bar soaps before um, to wash my hair. So it was definitely easier to distribute the soap all over your head the way you want it to go. And it didn't like... You know, you know how when you have um, liquid soap, it kind of gets concentrated in certain areas, so you try to, you know, spread it around as best as you can. With a bar of soap, you can control that. You can um, spread the soap all over, you know, rub the areas that needs to be lathered up and washed and rinsed, and you're good to go. So I am really enjoying those soaps. I retwist. I'm um, sorry. I don't retwist. I separate. I separate my hair after every wash. And I try to keep it separated for the most part because I don't want to have the roots um, grow together. I actually want to keep them separate. So that's just my preference. And I think it's easier because my hair is so thick at the roots. Like I have at least a good two and a half, three inches of, of afro underneath this hair. And it can get really, really, as you can see, my locks are thick. So you can imagine how my roots are. My roots are impossible. You can't even get your hand rooted it's just it is mm, it's a lot so um keeping it separated does help for me to keep it manageable or whatever so that is my hair it just feels longer this month and the great thing about i guess hitting the three-year mark is that i can really see month to month how long my hair gets it really each month i can see the difference like it feels longer it definitely feels heavier um, when I wash it, when the weight of the water is trapped up in there. I find myself straining more. I also find myself using more shampoo or whatever it is I'm using to wash my hair because it just, you know, just takes a lot. You got to wash the scalp and then you got to wash the hair and then you got to rinse it all out and then wash the scalp. Wash the, 
you know, it's a process. So, but yeah, here's another view one more time. Like I said, I think my hair is definitely getting ja long. Like, for real. Ja, ja long. There we go. Oh, my hair is light at the ends. I didn't notice it until I went to Georgia. Like, my hair at the ends are like a brownish color, whereas it's dark at the roots. I actually like the, the way it fades naturally. Um, I know I toyed with the idea of getting my hair colored. I'm just, you know, there's no reason why I haven't done it. It's just, I haven't done it. I mean, I still may do it, but like I said, it'll just be a jet black. I'm not going to put no funky colors in there. Um, but, yeah. That's it for now. And if you all have any questions about, I guess, my hair and why the hell is growing so long, so fast, maybe we can both figure that out. But anyway, if y'all have any questions, hit me up and I'll check in with y'all later.